I am Dr. W. B. Gundare from Kamla Nehru Mahavidyalaya Nagpur. Today we are discussing the uh, theory of strain wrestling. As we know, uh, the bare strain theory explains the stability of alkene and uh, unstability of alkene and also explains the uh, relative stability of cycloalkene. As we know, bare strain theory explains the uh, stability of ring containing 5 or less than carbon atoms ring but fail to explain the stability of the ring containing 6 and higher carbon atoms. So to account for this, to account the stability of cyclohexane, uh, the scientists Sache and Mohr suggested and we uh, yeah, developed this, um, this proposed the model uh, of the cyclohexane and this uh, model is known as the theory of strainless ring. So these scientists uh, suggested we examine the model of cyclohexane and propose the uh, theory of strainless ring. So this theory of strainless ring of the cyclohexane or cycloalkanes we are discussing in today's part. So the topic is alkanes and cycloalkane and this is the part number 9 of the cycloalkanes and in this part we are discussing today the theory of strainless ring and uh, parts are theory of strainless ring and the relative stability of cycloalkanes. So uh, as we know Bayer's strain theory is a very useful to explain the stability of alkene, unstability of alkenes and the relative stability of cycloalkenes. As we know Bayer's strain theory explains the reactivity or the stability of the ring containing 5 or less carbon atom but fail to uh, explain the stability of ring containing 6 or more carbon atoms. And now therefore the stability of 6 member or larger ring uh, for this to explain this such a and the MOA is the name of scientists examined the model of cyclohexane and proposed the theory of strain So as we know in this case and according to this theory uh, the carbon atom of 5 member or smaller ring can be a single plane as uh, given by the bear but in case of 6 member and larger rings they are lie in different planes. The rings containing for your less carbon atoms are either planar or very nearly planar but in case of 6 or more carbon atoms containing rings are non coplanar or so we can say that uh, they are puckered and as because of that uh, uh, however there are some drawbacks for example uh, different drawbacks are there three drawbacks are there in case of that according to the first point so according to this theory Cyclopentane should be more stable than the cyclohexane as, as, as we have seen in the bare strain theory as deviation is less in cyclopentane it is because of the less deviation in cyclopentane therefore cyclohexane is more stable as compared to the cyclopentane and the second uh, point is that the relationship also exists in the stability or EG of formation therefore the unstable compound are difficult to produce but in case of alkene can be easily prepared so this is the second uh, drawback and third is C1 and higher members ring are difficult to prepare and shall be unstable due to more deviation or more strain so these are the some drawbacks of the theory and actually in the practice such ring compounds are easy to prepare and quite stable and one scientist that is the Rujika a term is Rujika and co-workers shows that it is possible to prepare the compound containing as much as 34 carbon atoms and they are found to be stable so this is the scientist he suggested that Rujika is the name of scientist and his co-workers they, uh, they show that it is possible to prepare the ring compound containing the 34 carbon atoms and they are also stable. Therefore, Bayer strain theory could not explain the EG of formation of higher membered polymethylene and alkenes and the stability of high membered ring and more stability of cyclohexane than cyclopentane. So, this is not explained by Bayer strain theory. The strain can be measured by measuring the heat of formation, heat of combustion, dipole movement, absorption spectra of that molecule so the total strength can be calculated uh, in by the formula so to calculate the total strength in the 
compound a formula is shown here so total strain equals to formula e is a number of carbon atom in the ring into heat of combustion per c s2 in the compound minus heat of combustion per c s2 in the alkane so this difference into this one we get the total strain in the molecule so uh, this is the formula to know the total strain and here is the table uh, shows uh, heat of combustion and total strain so uh, here are the number of carbon atom in the ring so alkanes and uh, in case of alkane no rings are there and uh, here heat of combustion is given 157 and uh, total strain 0 but when the carbons are 2 number of carbon atoms are 2 in the ring the heat of combustion is 170 and the total strain in kilocalorie is shown 25 so as the number of carbon atom increases see now here uh, this is a see the value slightly increases there is no different more initially it is more but it is uh, almost constant here and uh, in this case now the strain shows the decrease so here initially more strain then here is zero again and uh, less and uh, increases decrease increases there so a total strain can be calculated as per the formula given and now here this table shows the uh, values of total strain what is the value of heat of combustion uh, depending upon the number of carbon atom in the molecule so uh, in this case the, uh, this table shows that uh, uh, strain is a minimum in cyclohexane and uh, it is more st uh, therefore it is more stable as compared to cyclopentane it also shows that strain is less in higher membrane and hence they are stable and the formation is not difficult so this is according to the table uh, they shows there is a minimum strain in case of cyclohexane and uh, hence it is more stable and, and uh, that is compared to cyclopentane so uh, it is also observed that EGO formation of ring could not be related to its stability so another observation is that EGO formation of ring could not be related to the to its stability <coughs> the three member ring can be easily produced as compared to four member Similarly, 5 membered ring can be easily produced as compared to 6 membered ring. So, as per the modern theory of valency, the strength of covalent bond depends upon the extent of overlapping. So, it depends upon the extent of overlapping of the orbitals. So, as per the modern theory, the valency of valency, uh, uh, modern theory of valency, the strength of the covalent bond depends upon the extent of overlapping of the atomic orbital. If overlapping of orbital is maximum, then bond formed is a strong bond. Greater the overlapping, stronger the bond formed. So this is an important part. And after this now, in case of cyclopropane and cyclobutane, the hybridized orbitals are not along an axis, but making certain angle with each other. Therefore, there is a less overlapping and the ring opening is easier. Uh, to understand this, the instability of cyclopropane is due to less overlapping. Uh, the overlapping in case of cyclobutane is also less, but comparatively more than that of cyclopropane. Therefore, we can say that cyclobutane is more stable than the cyclopropane. In case of alkene, there is one strong sigma bond and one weak pi bond, and therefore the reactivity and instability is due to the pi bond so in case of alkene uh, it is shown in the diagram uh, in case of uh, alkene alkene so this is the uh, in case of the, here is the cs2 109 degree angle is there this is the strong bond because greater the overlapping so in case of this is the structure of propane so in case of propane uh, there is a greater overlapping of the orbital and therefore the bond form is strong bond this is in case of cyclopropane CS2, 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 cyclopropane angle is 60 and here the overlapping is taking place but the bond is weak bond so this is the overlap between sp3 orbital of propane and the cyclopropane so this is strong bond in propane weak bond in cyclopropane so uh, uh, this can also be explained on the basis of overlapping of 
orbitals. And also, uh, in the next slide, it is shown uh, this six member and larger rings are strainless, as we know. Six member and larger rings are strainless. Hence the num hence the name of the theory is given. What is strainless ring? It has two scientists are there, Sachin and Moore, construct the model of the two puckered forms of cyclohexane, and these two forms are board form and the chair form. So there are two board form and the chair form, which is shown here. This is the chair form of the cyclohexane. These are the six carbon. This is chair conformation, and this is the board conformation. And the scientists suggested two. Uh, Confirmation of the cyclohexane. So, uh, Sachin and Moore constructed these two types, boat and chair forms. So, uh, as we know uh, here, uh, each carbon atom retains its normal tetrahedral angle 109 degree 28 minutes, and there is a negligible or no strain in the molecule. In other words, we can also say that six membered and larger rings are strainless. Therefore, the name is given strainless ring and Sachi and Moore able to construct the model of the two forms of cyclohexane, one is board form and the other is chair form. These forms of cyclohexane are readily interconvertible by rotation about the single bond and hence represent the conformations of cyclohexane. Similarly, the rings larger than six carbon atom can have negligible angle strain by assuming Pucker arrangement of atoms in the molecule. So uh, this is the uh, these are the two forms. So Bayer's assumption that compound difficult to synthesize is necessarily unstable is not correct. For ring closure to occur, it is essential that two ends of the carbon chain have the functional group must come sufficiently close together to react with each other. And therefore, we can say that larger the ring to be synthesized, larger must be the chain from which it is made and hence less is the likelihood of the two ends of the same chain. Under this condition, there would be a greater probability for two different chain coupling together. That is, we can say that intermolecular condensation as compared to the two ends of the same chain undergoing ring closure. So, uh, the difficulty encountered in the synthesis of large member ring is the competition between the inter and intramolecular condensation. So uh, recently this difficulty has been overcome by carrying out the reaction in highly dilute solutions. Under this condition the collision between two different chain are minimized considerably and the ring closing reaction is slow. It is the principal reaction. So uh, these uh, two scientists have given two forms for cyclohexane, chair form and the board form. So uh, today we have seen, uh, we have discussed what is the uh, theory of strainless ring. And uh, bare strain theory explains the stability of alkene and the uh, instability of alkene and uh, also relative stability of cycloalkanes. But now the theory is also there uh, in case of higher members and lower members, this theory could not explain. Uh, the uh, what is the uh, ring size or uh, ring containing the carbon atoms but now this theory explains some uh, aspect and uh, uh, which is known as the theory of strainless ring so it uh, does not depend upon the strain but also uh, heat of combustion is very important or uh, we can also calculate the total strain as per the formula given so this is the important theory uh, given by the Sarche and Mohar uh, with the, which is known as the theory of strainless ring so today we stop here. In the next part we will discuss about the alkene and cycloalkenes.